Hi, everyone. I just want you to see this. Look, all right, it seems a little bit like it's dry. Maybe you have some precipitation here in uh, Oklahoma that just breaks out, erupts, but we don't know because now uh, with these radar stations, they are showing us precipitation when there's no precipitation actually happening. I do want to show you, this has been going on off the coast of uh, California, this band of what appears to take on the Doppler Nexrad radar signature, but it seems as if, well, precipitation starts, it wants to come into California. No, push it out. Get it back out. And it, what, it's going in a circular pattern or something? Wow. All right. We're seeing a lot of very bizarre things, but we do see that it appears to be dry for you guys who have been hit with so much flooding over the week, which uh, you're going to be getting more, apparently. I'll get into that in a moment. Okay, Florida, you're getting hit now with storms. Um, you guys up north, Pennsylvania, um, into Massachusetts, are you getting any precipitation? I don't even know. You know, it. we don't know anymore. We don't know. I mean, this this life of ours is so unbelievable. It, it's like, don't you feel like you're just kind of on the sidelines watching it now? We used to be like involved in it. Now we're just watching life go on uh, we don't exist in it. It's all this, you know, made up. It's like a caricature, caricature of itself or something. We're just watching it unfold. You know, it's so bizarre. Well, so I look at how, okay, good, you guys dry at least, good. You know, all, we've heard the lakes and the creeks and the rivers all at flood level. Thank God. All right. Well, <laughs> I get this from a subscriber who I want to thank South Central U.S. to face multi-day risk of several, of severe, sorry, severe weather. Tornadoes this week? This was posted five hours ago. MSN. What? Where? Where is it? Where is it coming from? Now, I learned or heard in Truth by Grace say that they can Photoshop satellite, but they can't Photoshop radar. And I have to tell you, I've never looked into it. But based on what I'm seeing on satellite and radar, well, there's a big difference. So... Yeah, it seems like it may very well be true. What do we have here in the Gulf of Mexico? Uh, well, clearly we've got the manufacturing of some high frequency storm going on. And as you can see, they are evaporating the precipitation right here via satellites. Or um, it looks like Florida, you're getting hammered. You got to weigh in, Florida. You got to tell us. You know, I got a comment from someone who said, how come you always ignore Florida? Um, what, do you have something against Florida? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't have anything against Florida. All right, so it looks like the whole of Texas, you hardly even have clouds. Is it a beautiful day in Texas? But also, Arkansas, um, this purple here, this green, I don't know. You're going to have to weigh in, Kansas. Is that precipitation right there? We don't know anymore because our Doppler radar stations are putting out very powerful very powerful uh, frequencies and our 
atmosphere is ionized, loaded with all of these chem uh, chemicals and heavy uh, um, metals, that they could just be reflecting that. Well, so is this what they're talking about? Because this storm looks like it's heading, well, it's trying to m head, well, it should be passing Texas, right? It's going northeast. Let's go to the composite radar. radar. Oh, well, where's that storm? Oh, we've got a blip here. So is this photoshopped? The satellite that I just showed you? It's because it's nowhere to be found. But as you can see, right here, another radar site shows no precipitation going on. In all of those states where you got blasted with flooding, all right, well, here you go. Heightened alert for rounds of severe thunderstorms into the middle of the week. South Central States. From where? From where? Oh, oh, I get it. From that creation of yours. That you are evaporating. Oh, so you don't want it to go mm, east. You, I think maybe you're wanting it to go on up into Texas based on based on your military uh, forecast for the United States. Military weather forecast. Oh, and yes, Raytheon controls are sites owned by Rothschilds. But Raytheon is controlling our weather. Uh, radar and satellite, a military contractor. Listen to this. Another active period of severe weather across the south central states. Damaging winds, large hail, frequent lightning, and downpours will be the most common characteristics of the storms that develop each day through Wednesday. However, there will be the risk of at least isolated tornadoes most days. This now is our weather. Oh, we don't get just, oh, hey, it's raining. Or, oh, wow, we have a thunderstorm. No, now we get tornadoes and hail, lightning, downpours, damaging winds, all and all over the place is it occurring. This is our common weather now. Isolated tornadoes. Tornadoes in Florida. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, so you had a tornado in Florida. Where is that? Oh, let me go. Here. A tornado confirmed in, where was it, Palm Beach? Palm Beach County in Florida. National Weather Service in Miami confirmed that a tornado touched down in South Florida as part of a disturbance that brought thunderstorms to the area Friday and promised to bring more wet weather through Sunday. Yeah, hail. Sunday, expect more thunderstorms and hail with tropical storm level wind gusts coming this afternoon into the evening in Florida, South Florida, Broward and Miami-Dade counties, all of Palm Beach County. Yeah, hail now, baseball size, golf ball size, damaging hail. Um, in one of the articles I'm going to read, they say, hey, get those cars in the garage or under a carport to prevent damage to your cars. Did we ever live this before? No, we did not. No. So, you have, look at this tree. I'm sorry, I've got to point it out, okay? And I shouldn't have to point it out. Do you see all the fungal disease on this tree that's still upright? But do you see the fungal disease coated, coated the entire tree? And you know what? Trees now look arthritic. Their limbs look 
arthritic, like they're pulling in word. And now they have just so much fungal disease in these creepy limbs. If they have leaves on them, they're very, very small. That's a signature of a very diseased tree. But when you see it all over, well, hey, Americans, don't do any research on geoengineering and the spraying of all of those toxic chemicals and the heavy metals that are coming right on down into your atmosphere in which you breathe that air. Uh, so do the trees, and it goes into the soil, and it uh, kills off their root system and creates a whole lot of disease. Your trees are very weak, and even slight winds are bringing them down. Don't do any research, though. Just wait for that tree to topple over on your home. Oh, wow. Power outages in Clearwater, Florida. And you got more and more and more coming. Severe storms sweep central Florida, moving east, life-threatening lightning. I always thought lightning was life-threatening anyway, but hey, we're living a new time. So this, this unbelievable article multi-day risk of storms that can disrupt outdoor plans, slow travel, and even worse, inflict property damage, will make it vital for residents and vis visitors to stay aware of rapidly changing weather conditions. Well, it's going to be rapidly changing because man is creating it. It's nowhere to be found. They're in the process of making it. Um, but, yeah, they can bring it about very quickly. And they can bring rapid changes very quickly. And we never lived this before. Mother Nature was not evil. Um, man is. Man is. And I have to ask farmers. You know, you know, you, you work the land, okay? Nature is very important to your business. You look at the sky. You know, is a storm coming? What are you seeing in the sky? Is it not different from years gone by? Very frustrating time we're living. Ahead of the storms, loose outdoor items should be secured or stowed away to prevent them from becoming dangerous projectiles in a thunderstorm's winds, and vehicles can be parked in garages or under car parts, ports to prevent costly hell damage. Hell was a rare occurrence, very small, wasn't baseball sized hell crashing through car windows in areas causing damage to hundreds of cars from one storm. Come on. Unprecedented, historic but it ain't caused by climate change. Areas of the southern high plains that were battered with large hail and even a few tornadoes at the start of the weekend will once again be at risk late Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. Great, more to come, guys. Communities within a corridor from Dodge City, Kansas to Guymon, Oklahoma, Amarillo, Lubbock, and Midland, Texas, and southward to the Big Bend can be rocked by storms, producing large hail, high winds, and downpours. Right here in this area. Okay? It's now 3.12 p.m. East, uh, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, if it comes, you, well, you better know it's been manufactured, brought about to cause you destruction. Storms will develop along a line separating very dry air from the southwest and moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, which is why they are commonly referred to as dry line thunderstorms. Every, uh, I've never heard of a dry line thunderstorm. This is a new term, but they write it as if we've always, we've always heard that. We've always, hey, dry line thunderstorms, of course. Well, it will um, be feisty in Omaha to Lincoln, Nebraska, with storms. Uh, that's ahead of a press of cooler air 
Monday will feature three main storms, uh, three main zones of severe weather, with some locations at risk for the third consecutive day. It's kind of like you you imagine these military folks sitting around. Okay, we want the storms to go into these zones, into these corridors, and target these areas. That that's the the language now that we read about our weather. One piece of energy coming out of Mexico. Energy coming out of Mexico. Oh, is it this energy? Could it be this energy? This energy caused by high frequency heating, uh, Doppler, Nexrod, Nexrod, radar, that energy you're talking about? Unbelievable. Yeah. So, one piece of energy coming out of Mexico will likely develop a thunderstorm complex that will move across far southern Texas. Well, it's not moving across far southern Texas. It looks like it's trying to move eastwardly, but it is being evaporated. So, they may bring this upon you. And well, they might be a little bit late, that's all. Dry line thunderstorms will again fire from western Texas into western Kansas late Monday. Fire. Fire. Really? Fire? Okay. Before spreading eastward during the nighttime hours. The third region at risk will be from eastern Kansas into Missouri. Strong winds, flooding downpours may be the greatest threats in that corridor. Just what you need, Missouri and Kansas. The same piece of energy from Mexico on Monday will advance northeastward and bring the threat for severe weather across eastern Texas. Okay. Uh, the same piece of energy is going to bring storms on Monday. Well, let me just put you on hold. Okay, right. Sunday. Sunday. Um, you're going to be battered with large hail, and that's Amarillo, Lubbock, Midland, Texas. And then that storm, they know already, which is not even appearing on radar at all, um, but they got that going on satellite. And it's already showing it's it is absolutely it, this thing should not hit Texas at all so whatever they have going on in the Gulf of Mexico has nothing to do with this forecast that I just read but where the hell is this storm coming for Sunday, which it's now Sunday. So what is it? 2, 17 p.m. Texas. They will create it if anything happens. They will create it. It will be man-made. It will be another weather warfare hit for areas uh, in western Texas. You know, when you're isolated and you have no one to talk to and you have no one in your life and it's hard because you you just don't have any place to bring this madness that you are experiencing. So I bring it to you guys. Um, that's what you're hearing a lot. Dry line thunderstorms, again fire from west western Texas into western Kansas late Monday, third region, Kansas, Missouri, uh, downpours you'll get, great, the same piece of energy from Mexico into eastern Texas and western Louisiana, including Houston, they don't even know how to write, across eastern Texas, including Houston and western Louisiana, okay, southern high plains will again be a separate hotbed for several, uh, severe weather this day, on Monday with the threat for dangerous 
storms expanding further east toward Oklahoma City, spreading eastward through the south central states at midweek before reaching portions of Mississippi. So, all right, we've got this storm now. It seems to be, <laughs> it, it's going all over the place. If you follow from Sunday to Monday, uh, it's going all over the place. Or maybe it's just spreading. Oh, spreading, and it's expanding, and it's, oh my god, spreading eastward through the sun, south central states at midweek before reaching portions of the Mississippi and Ohio valleys. Okay. North central states will largely be spared from severe storms this week. They will bear the brunt of heavy rainfall that will exacerbate ongoing flooding problems. All right. I don't know what to say anymore. All right, um, just prepare. Always be prepared for anything that could hit, and all links are below. But please, guys in Florida, especially, how are you? How are you doing? What's happening in Florida? Ciao, guys.